Hey everybody, welcome back to uh, the second edition of LinkedIn Live with Matt Chat Live today. We, uh, we got cut off. You know, it just happens. Welcome to live. So uh, we'll be with you in just a second. Give folks a chance to say that we're back on again, and um, we'll be with you in just a moment. We've got a great, great opportunity for you to see some things today that I think you'll love. Here's a little screen for you to see while you're waiting. Look at that guy. Do you want a job? Do you want a job? We got jobs. We got jobs like crazy. We got jobs. All right. So we're going to find out about that in just a moment. We'll give you a minute to get in. We uh, want to make sure that everybody has a chance to jump on. And those that were watching earlier, welcome back. <laughs> welcome back. We got a show for you. Have we got a show for you? I got two crazy guys on my show today. There, some guy or something. Sounds like we're live. I can hear it on, I can hear it on somebody else's computer. That's all right. It's already live. All right, so I'll, I'll end this screen. We'll go ahead and start just a moment. Hey there. Welcome to Matt Chat Live. It's another episode. Yeah, it is. But this time, man, we got some fun stuff going on today. Uh, we're having a blast. By the way, we had some really great stuff we were talking about today. And nobody knows about it because it got cut off. But the fortunate thing is we know what we're talking about. So we can go, go back right to it and start all over again. It's going to be pretty good. So for those of you that were watching, um, welcome back. All right, so I just want to start again with the show. Here's these two crazy awesome guys that uh, that are now I love to, to have in my life. There they are. So if you guys could do me a favor one more time and just reintroduce yourself to our folks and those that are waiting to jump in and so they know who you are. We'll start with Fabian on the left there. All right, so guys, uh, very glad to be here. Really, I'm in Singapore right now. My name is Fabian. Uh, I've been in LinkedIn, LinkedIn for a few years and you know, I'm just passionate about helping people sort out the personal brand. Uh, I've been working with more than 4,000 job seekers over the past four years. If you're looking for a job, if you want, you know, if you have questions about your career, uh, where you see yourself after this whole crisis is gone and all that, you are the right place right now because I'm here with Matt. Thank you so much, Matt, for organizing the show. It's fantastic. Oh, yeah, thank you. Also, we so have who is obviously a massive, massive uh, individual on LinkedIn. So, so have a huge uh, thank over to you. I will make the version right now. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, this is Sahil Mustafa from Dubai, and I have been on LinkedIn platform since 2013. Um, we were live just a while ago and did some technical issues, so we are back live again, which is good. So, I broke so, the internet. So, I broke the internet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I am from the HR background and Matt and Fabian, really good friend of mine. And we were just planning to do a session actually for all the job seekers, you know, across the, across the globe, there's like a, um, an air of uh, sadness, you know, when it comes to the job seeker, they're thinking like, you know, there are no job opportunities. How are we going to get back in the game? Are we going to get the jobs anymore? You know, and, and, and also how we can identify our own skill sets, you know, um, okay, we don't have any jobs right now, you know, that we can apply for maybe, for example, but then how we can identify, how we can rediscover ourselves as an entrepreneur, maybe how we, you know, what, like, like, like a lot of things when it comes to the job seeker thing, how they can get back in the game, how their career aspirations, identifying their passion, unleashing their abilities, everything we're going to discuss on um, Tuesday session, which, uh, you know, Matt, thank you very much for arranging that session and bringing Fabian, you know, the, one of the experts when it comes to the resume writer and, Person branding and and I'm super super excited. I just can't wait for Tuesday. I session know, to I know. Sectors are hiring. How we can best approach the recruiters and how we can you know in this moment of time, I think the job seekers when they are sad, when they are sitting at their homes, they think like you know um, everything is closed from all sides, and they are just sitting in their uh, houses and their rooms and they are like you know blacked out. But I want to give them the hope. I want to give them like you will see a bright light once you pass through this dark tunnel. Once this COVID-19 is over, you're going to get a bright light and you'll and see. And it's not and going to be the oncoming train. It's not the oncoming train. <laughs> Absolutely. And you will think, like, you know, you have gone through this phase. One month, two months, you know, take this opportunity to rediscover yourself. And more we're going to share on Tuesday session. Yeah, yeah. Tuesday. So excited about it. I am too. I'm amazing. Super, it, there's going to be a lot. And we've got some things we'll be... Uh, we'll be giving away as far as information, and we've got some uh, some slides you guys will be able to have. So you, you'll want to take notes for sure on Tuesday. Make sure you come with uh, you know a pen and paper. It's really good to do. I'm horrible about it. I know I'm a digital guy too. I like to use my iPad. I use my phone to take notes, but 
there is great value in using actually a, a piece of paper and a pen. It helps you to retain information much better. It's a mindset thing. It's a neuroscience thing that if you actually write stuff down, it, it sticks. So, you know, there's going to be such good information flying at you 100 miles an hour on Tuesday that you may want to write it down and then be able to come back to review, right? And you know what? The best thing what you can do, you know, all the listeners who are watching this video right now and you can share the link of this video with your friends, uh, you know, in your WhatsApp groups. The thing is you can simply put a reminder in your mobile, you know, that on Tuesday at this time, you can look for the time in your regional uh, time time zone where you are right now and where, from where you are tuning in and then put a reminder for Tuesday and then you'll just have a reminder, you know, dun -dun, Mac live chat that I have to join. Done. There you go. Because you don't want to miss out the opportunity and also to share with your friends that, you know, we're going to share information with sectors are hiring, how you can best apply for jobs, how you can get back in the game and how you can take the opportunity of this current time to rediscover yourself. And if you have those abilities that you have never unleashed, this is the moment that you can, you know, bang on. You can use them. Absolutely. What do you say, Fabian? Now, most people are, you know, we are all stuck at home and this is the perfect moment to work on your brand and make sure you get it on point because especially on LinkedIn, you know, you cannot miss that. It's such an opportunity for you. You need to take advantage of the situation. So on Tuesday, I'm going to share a lot of insights, especially about uh, how you need to, you know, craft on LinkedIn, how you need to get uh, to make sure that you, you look professional, you generate leads for you. Uh, so you get results. Once this once this crisis is gone, a lot of industries are going to hire like crazy, like never before. And if you get your personal branding right, you're gonna have a competitive advantage to outmarket your competitors. So you cannot miss that. That on Tuesday is gonna be epic. I can tell you, I'm gonna share some some of my best kept secrets with you. So yeah. And, and you charge and money for that stuff. Here. People people pay you for this information, and, and you're gonna be giving some of that information away, right? I give it away. Uh, we see, man. Yes, you know, it's fantastic. My purpose is to help people, you know? So that's what I'm passionate about. So you just come, you take notes. I give you some, uh, some how can I say, some things that you can download, you know, in free of charge, free of... We take out the guesswork for you. So, so that's it. You just make it easier. Yeah, you just you just you just, you just have to do it. You have to apply. And we've got I've, we've got actual places. We've got names of organizations that are hiring. We'll be giving you names of places where you can actually go get a job. Like people say, oh, there's no work out there. You're going to be blown away on Tuesday as how much work yeah. is available right now, right now. And yes. the only time to get it and the only way to get those jobs is to go for it, right? And this is the best time to do it. So we're gonna we're gonna share a lot of information on that on Tuesday. And I think also like like in the in the you know like uh, the profession of nurses was not taken that serious maybe in the past. And people are like you know you have to be an engineer, you have to be a you know um, you have to do an MBA degree or you know something like that. But now you see, a nurses nurses are more in demand as compared to an MBA. Yeah, so yeah. no profession is, you know, less in demand or high in demand. It's just a matter of fact that how you're going to optimize your degrees. Even an MBA degree, even if you are holding an MBA degree, we're going to discuss on Tuesday that how you can optimize your degrees. You are working in the IT background. I mean, like, I literally can share with you a lot of tips that how you can optimize a while ago. You know, we were discussing with Matt as well. And I and Matt was totally, you know, sur surprised when I gave him the idea that people who are working in the aviation industry, and, you know, the flights are canceled all over the globe, but yes. the flight attendants, you know, they might be thinking like, you know, uh, what next are we going to do? But when I told Matt, you know, these are the opportunities where they can apply for. And Matt was totally blown away. And that was the time when he said like, okay, you know what, we're going to do this. We're going to turn this into a whole new live broadcast session. We, we're going to help, you know, a whole lot of audience, yes. thousands and thousands of people. I think brilliant job, Max. Absolutely. I mean, it's one of those things like, where it, sometimes you can't see the forest. Sometimes you can't see the forest from the trees, right? And <laughs> when you get so immersed into what you're doing, you don't think that there's anything else to do, and it's hard to think outside of the box. And you know, we're going to open the lid, the the walls, the <laughs> the boxes ought to be destroyed because there is no box. It's about getting out there and doing great things. And, and there's such great opportunity. I'm so excited we could share it, share that with some folks on Tuesday. Um, there's, we're talking about um, some things that are going on right now, like industry change. There's some things that are going on in the industry right now. 
Uh, I think we're going to talk a little bit about that on Tuesday as well if I, uh, from my notes. So there are, there are companies that are forced to make some, some massive changes right now. Um, there's a lot of companies that are, that are unfortunately going out of business. I can't imagine I had a small business and um, I would be out of business right now if I still were in retail business because um, there's no way people are going to come in and buy the kind of products I had during something like this. But you still have to pay rent. You still have to pay taxes. You still have to pay all these things, whether there's a virus or not. And a lot of these companies have no money to be able to do that because they have no business. Um, so a lot of these companies that are able to, to stand mm -hmm. during this time are going to be very tenacious. That's one of the words we're using here for tenacious business. Very tenacious with what they do. And I think they're going to be way more focused as companies and biz businesses as to what they want to achieve. And some may actually change up a few things with what they're doing. Uh, I think you'll see some some branding changes, some logo changes from big companies, big organizations. What? Right? No. What do you think, Fabian? He's going he's gonna to be, a, I mean, a lot of opportunities. That's for sure. We just need to get, you guys need to get ready for that. That's the thing. If you're not ready, you will not be able to grab them. You know, so again, on Tuesday, we're going we're gonna to share exactly what you need to do, what you need to be aware of. So you get all those opportunities for you. Now I have a question, and this, this question is more, you know, so I have some people, I mean, you've been on LinkedIn for, for some years, but it's true that over the past two years, I, your followers, uh, they've been, they've, it's been it's been crazy, the growth you've experienced. It's crazy. And some people just like me, close to 50,000 followers, and they maybe look at us like, oh, we dominate the thing, or we know better than others. But I think it's important as well to remember from scratch as well. So so I have, there's a question, that, because it's the first time I'm really on a live with Sohaib now, and I want to ask you this question. So Sohaib, yes. why? How did you get so many followers and so many people seeing you on LinkedIn? What do you think is your 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 secret? Is there any magic behind? Do you have any super superpower? What he's, do you think? he's gorgeous. That's why. Look at that man. He's nice. Look at that nice groomed mustache, a nice hat. Why would you want to talk to that guy? <laughs> I think uh, you know the the first thing is um, is that you know you you have to be a giver. Mm -hmm. You know, when you are on a social media platform, something like this, you have to be a giver. So when you appear to be a giver, you attract more people. So the moment you put yourself out there as a selfless person, as a giver person, you start to create an influence. You start to create a tribe that you can run. All right. So the first thing is that, you know, you, you, you need to be a giver. So you cannot just say like, okay, I'll pay this amount and I'll get the followers or uh, you know, that you do all those shortcuts, you know, just to get the followers. No, once you put yourself out as a giver, once you have this kind of mindset that you're going to help people, you're going to get the traffic, you're going to get the audience, you're going to get the tribe following you. That's where, you know, it all started for me. When I started helping the job seekers, when I started contributing, um, you know, content for careers, for personal development, for, uh, you know, how, you, how the job seekers, especially they can optimize those social media platforms. So first thing is to be a giver in whichever way. It doesn't matter that you have to be a coach. You can be an artist, okay? You can be a programmer, anything. First thing is be a giver. Point number two, you need to be very consistent. So all you have already started something. Now imagine from your, uh, imagine from the side of your audience, they are expecting something. So every day you have to feed them. You have to feed them. And this thing I have realized over the years that, uh, you know, if I would not feed them, so I have this kind of feeling in me, like, you know, there is something that I did not do today. So once you started something, so you have to continue to feed them, bring content, even if there's like a one-line content, start to add value, give it out there, put it out there. So point number two is consistent. The third thing is open your horizons. So don't limit yourself just only in one region, or you know within the same pool of uh, you know with the with the with the audience, but you know go beyond that. Go in different continent, subcontinent. Do collaborations. For example, like Matt is a very good example right now. So Matt, you know, for example, there was a content that I posted on LinkedIn, and me and you know Matt, we were just having a chat, and we came up with this idea. You know that let's do something big for everybody out there. Let's go for it. So now Matt's audience is going to watch Matt's live show. I have reached out to my audience, telling my network that, hey, 
Hey guys, I'm going live with, you know, on Matt's show, join us and we are going to discuss on this topic. So that's how you create that whole influence, you know, across different regions. And, um, you know, I mean, I can go on and on because it's a whole journey. Maybe we can do another show on this, like, you know, from zero to who I am today. I mean, I'm very selfless, very humble, a person who's a very giver. And I think uh, no one knows better than uh, Fabian right now because he has been there since the very, very beginning, if I would say, very beginning. <laughs> And, and, and he has seen this growth and he has been continuously, I mean, I have his message. He has been continuously appreciating my work. So that has, I think, uh, driven me towards uh, uh, doing something more and more and more and more. And I think uh, absolutely so far, everything has been phenomenal. So be a giver, contribute in whichever way you can, be consistent. And the third is think beyond the box. Don't limit yourself to one country, to one region. The whole world is just one. There are no boundaries when it comes to the uh, social world or social media presence. There are no boundaries. You can go anywhere. So right now I'm interacting with Matt, but if I have to go to Matt physically to visit the US, I might need a visa. If I have to go to travel to Singapore, or you know, if you have to come to Dubai, you might need a visa, for example. But in the digital world space, there are no boundaries. Yeah. So you can optimize, you can you know, create opportunities for yourself. And, and believe me, this uh, being in a digital world, I think if you have a presence, it will only benefit you. So you, you, you are not spending anything. The only thing you are spending is your time and time has a value. So if you spend time, you get the value out of it. And on that note, over to you guys. Yeah, that's fantastic. And it's so true. And obviously, you know, he says, I'm humble. Like, he is, guys. I mean, he doesn't just say that to be boastful. It's, a, it's true. And I think that, well, I don't think that. I mean, it's exactly why it's magnetic. And that's what draws people in. And a lot of folks, uh, me included, you know, on side, front side of LinkedIn, you, you kind of go with the trends and the ways that you think that things are working. And, and what happens is it becomes, it, we were talking about it earlier, it's not authentic. I mean, there's just people that are reaching out to people for, for numbers sake. And yeah, so has got, you know, 18 bazillion followers right now. <laughs> but, uh, you know, at the end of the day, you know, that's not why he's here. He's here because he's got a specific thing he wants to talk about, and he wants to help people do certain things, and that's why he gets the numbers he gets. Now, now, can he interact with everybody on a personal basis? No. I mean, but let's get real, folks. I mean, look at the numbers, and then you tell me how you're going to do it. You're not going to do it, right? But you can engage with all those people on a passionate, authentic level by the content you're doing, by the lives you're doing, and that's a way it, that you still can be connected with people. And then sometimes you get a chance to interact with people, you know, a little bit deeper level. Um, but when you're doing stuff like that, I mean, obviously it takes a lot of work, you know, it's a heck of a lot of work. I spend hours and hours every day doing content, and uh, not because it's, it's uh, hard work, which it is hard work, but I love to do it because I'm doing it for a reason. It's not because I'm doing it because I want people to think how cool I am or I plan on buying a yacht because you're going to give me all kinds of money for what I do. That's a joke. <laughs> um, I do it because I want to help people. And unfortunately, there's people out there that have, have used and abused certain words because their motivation is not really helping people. It is about the double comma club. It is about notoriety. It is about fame. It is about money. And uh, there's a percentage of people out there that do that. Um, but I think it's pretty easy to see the difference. It's pretty easy to see the difference of, of what that is and who that is, you know? And that's really one of the things that, that uh, Fabian loves to deal with when you talk about personal branding. And uh, when it comes to personal branding, I, do. I mean, how can you how can you shy to be, like with, with uh, Sohab, how can you try to be authentic with your brand, some of the things I was just talking about, when when your numbers do start growing? How do you stay consistent like that? You're asking, what, what I would say... Fabian. So, I, yeah, okay. So, uh, what I would say is that the first thing that's very important is that if you don't care, if you don't take care of your personal brand, all the others will do want to uh, communicate the message that resonates the best with who you are and the value you can add. Second, I talk again about value to add, and it comes to what so so I was explaining about giving, uh, because in the in the end. If your personal branding is not on point, people will try to, you know, understand who you are. But if you're just your LinkedIn profile, for example, doesn't communicate a clear message, uh, it's, it's very risky because you might be seen as someone you're not. Mm. And when either you're looking for a job or you're looking for, for business on LinkedIn, uh, your message is the most important thing. People need to know who you are and what you can bring on the table. 
So if I get back to what you said, so I have about giving. So have is clearly a giver, right? Everybody get it. Everybody gets it. So the thing is that companies, what do you think? Do you think companies are looking for givers or takers? Mm -hmm. Yeah, for the sure. Givers usually have the world to help people grow and become better. And takers are people who will uh, get stuff for them and maybe disappear to take more somewhere else. Companies are looking for givers. That's for sure. Leaders are givers. I mean, who doesn't agree with that? Leaders are givers. So your branding must, number one, show your value, maybe your unique selling proposition as well, and how you can give to others. That's important. You know, you cannot get it right. And nowadays, like right now with the crisis, everybody is on LinkedIn every single day uh, trying to look for opportunities, look for future collaborators. So yeah, your branding on LinkedIn is what is yeah, your profile picture, your LinkedIn headline, your background picture, your summary, your work experiences, uh, all that matters. Every single word you use matters. Uh, so don't get important, you know. So again, on Tuesday, I'm going to share with you a lot of tips that I've learned over the past four years, and you won't be disappointed. I'm pretty sure that you will, you will, you will be at the live, and you will be oh, this is the best thing I did this this week, you know, or this this month, or even this year. Yeah, yeah. This live, so don't miss it. I got another question that kind of segue from that point uh, because you work. You know, one of your main business, your main business is, is resumes, resume writing, all kind of things. So a lot of folks are, I think, are kind of confused about or or don't know how to recreate themselves in a resume. Like say somebody's been doing a job for 15 years, right? So 15 mm -hmm. years ago, they did a few things and they've been doing this one job for all this time. They're thinking, well, I don't have a resume. I got an old resume. How am I going to make myself attractive to somebody else? When I've been doing the same thing for 15 years, I don't have anything to offer, right? So how do you how do you help people move from? And we'll talk more about it on Tuesday. But how do you how do you help people move from that that stuck place, that mindset, or people that don't even know how to do a resume, for for example? Um, how do you get them to move from from that point to making themselves marketable, moving from one job to another? Yeah. That, that's a very good question. And in fact, uh, I always get this this from people. They will tell me, oh. I'm fine, I have a resume, but having a resume, first of all, is not enough. Because imagine when you apply for a job, how many applications will, will a company receive? Everybody has a resume nowadays, you know. You need to uh, get it on point and stand out. You know, you need to be at the top three, you need to be at the top of the pile, basically. That's, that's what you need. So if you've been working in the same company for 15 years, 20 years, or you're not really sure about what to include, what to remove. You need to talk to people who know how to do it. That's that simple. You need to ask so hard, you need to ask me, you need to ask people proven they, they've cracked the code and they understand how it works. Because if you try to do it everything on your own, you might try over. He's so cute, isn't he? He's a good looking guy. Even if he's just yeah. sitting there. But, but, but you know what? I like his energy because it's, yeah. it's I think, half past uh, half past two. In the morning? In the morning, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so maybe <laughs> maybe the neighbors, they might have shouted, like, there's this guy. Who <laughs> 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 was talking about resume like half past two? <laughs> <laughs> well, you'll get to hear more about it. And he'll come back in a second. It's just the internet. But... Um, you know he's he's very passionate about that, and he's going to be a really great resource for everybody to hear what what that looks like from what it's just like you're talking about the stewardess example, which I thought was fantastic. A st somebody's been a stewardess at an airline for so many years, and then you're able to come back. There he is. You're able to come back yep. and start a new career. Yeah, All right, I we, mean, do listen what we said when you were not on the screen. <laughs> <laughs> you'll have to you'll have to watch the replay. <laughs> you should watch it. Are we still live? Yeah, we're still live. Oh yeah. Okay. Hey, hey, Mike. <laughs> yeah. You want to finish? You want to finish up what you're saying? Uh, until which? Until which moment did you, did you hear me? Uh, what was the last word he was talking about? When you said that you well, have to crack the code. That's right. So you can't crack the code, so you have to ask the experts. Yeah, that's right. So my message to you is that if you try to do it on to do it on your own, you can try for months and years. But remember. If you are an IT executive, your expertise is not personal branding. And personal branding, you know, it, it, it's, it's almost a science. It is a science, in fact. So uh, 
uh, instead of trying to understand how it works on your own and Google it, and you will get confused. And you just you just you just ask for advice, you know, from people who know their stuff, you know. So I'm here to share, you know, I'm anytime. Just drop me a note. That I'm gonna share some stuff for you. I have so many things you can ask so hard. There's so many people you can find on LinkedIn. Just look for people who are who know their stuff, you know. So either it's about resume or your LinkedIn profile, those two things are so important to you. But yeah, your your personal branding it, it, it's 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 such a, an, an elaborated science that yeah you, you yeah. just need to talk to people who know their stuff. And on Tuesday, obviously, I will share with you a very some very easy steps that you can follow to minimize the risk of getting it wrong, you know, but yeah, end of the day, it's always good to talk to people and all this stuff. So yeah, come on Tuesday, we share more. Oh yeah, it's going to be good. With you. Yeah. And I think, you know, Fabian is absolutely right. When, whenever it comes to, because you cannot be, um, there is a saying that um, jack of all trade is nothing, you know? Yeah. So, so, you know, if your car is taking you to your destination, so you are leaving, for example, you know, for point, point A to point B and you're driving your car, Okay, and if your car, you know, um, has, and your tire, car tire is uh, punctured, so you will go it. So you go to the garage and you get it fixed, and you pay the money there. So similarly in your career, because you cannot fix the the tire yourself, so you, you you cannot be master of everything. All right. So similarly in your career, your resume, your LinkedIn profile, your personal branding, you know, these are the things where you might need to invest just a little bit if things are not working out. So go and get the expert advice. For example, if Fabian has a business, uh, you know, for resume writing, he has been in this business for years and years. And you think that you can make the resume pretty good, good, good enough. I do agree. I can make my resume, but this guy, his team, you know, people are like, you know, there are some other companies as well, but those are the experts who they are like closely connected with the recruiters. They are closely connected with the applicant tracking system. They know, how to craft the code. They know that how you can, you know, appear in the search results. They know how you can optimize your LinkedIn profile in a way to crack your next opportunity. So this is like you're driving from point A, you have no job. You want to get to point B where your job is, but you know, you have done all the struggle, you have done all the effort, but you just need to invest just a little bit. Imagine like your career is punctured right now and you need to get it fixed. So reach out to somebody who can help you. Fabian is a great guy. Yeah. You know, if you have somebody in your network you wish to reach out to. See, the problem here is, is that we don't invest in ourselves. We'll buy fast food meals, but we'll never get a LinkedIn premium account and see the features of LinkedIn premium. Yep. We you know, spend money on uh, you know different parties or you know hanging out, so, you know, useless things at some at some point. But then imagine if for one month, if you would not do all these things and you would just invest, you know, just a little bit in your career and see where it takes you. See, you know, so I, please. If you allow me a second, and even, you know, uh, it's not only about, because to me, in fact, when I think about it, it's not about people investing in getting our services. Obviously, I mean, it's great, but people who are givers, they will give you free resources that can help you. Even if you are, if you don't have any money, Yes. You should be able to get from those people who are really passionate about get, helping others free resources. So I have a lot of free stuff for people who contact me and say, hey, oh, I need to work on that and this, do this, but I have no money. So no problem. You can do it on your own. I give you all the stuff. You do it on your own if you want. It's perfectly fine. Wow. Uh, but people who, are, people who are here to help, really, they will always have something for you. Either you want to invest or you don't want to invest money, it's fine. I have so many stuff for you. Mm. Free resume templates, LinkedIn checklist, resume checklist, and so much more. Uh, it's, it's you know, it's all about helping in the end, you know, so. Oh, it is. What's really so good yeah, about that too, Fabian, is that when somebody does something like that and they invest in themselves with a company like yours or other companies that do that type of work and they get back the, the resume, they get back the work and they look at it and they're gonna think, I did not know I'm this good. This is oh, this so is this is me, really? right? And I think it then becomes a great motivator to the person to go after what they're going to go after because they're going to say, "Wow, I didn't realize that I could do all this," right? And they get excited about trying to go for the job. Then there is a sentence that I get once in a while, not too often, but once in a while I get it. It's oh man, when I saw my new resume, I felt like hiring myself. 
the resume. You know, somebody's got okay. somebody's got our LinkedIn going in, in the background. I'm this good. Is that your it's computer a, playing so high? Me, right? And I think it then becomes a great motivator to the person. <laughs> Somebody, yeah. got to turn, got to turn down the LinkedIn. <laughs> Live. <laughs> Is that you? There we go. It's twice as good. There we go. Turn it down. Oh wow. Okay. <laughs> Sorry about I will, that. I was saying that sometimes I get one, I get once in a while, and it's fantastic. It's like so. Some people sometimes tell me, "Oh, when I saw my new resume, I felt like hiring myself." <laughs> that's it man you need you see you are you are a lot better than what you think you were you know? yeah yeah it's just like same thing is like that when you get it on point you just like you can have a massive impact so imagine what a reporter would think about you uh headhunters and all that you know a it's absolutely just, you know, it can change the game really for real it's, yeah. it is a game changer so, it's a game changer well, that's a, that's a bunch of stuff. We've been on for a half an hour now, which is fantastic. Well, if you count the other one, we've probably been on for 45 minutes with the other one, but we deleted that one already. Can I just, can I just ask a question, uh, like very quick one? I can see, I have my phone in front of me now, so I can see people. Oh, good. Has anybody, has anybody posted any questions so far? I do, I, do, I do have a question for people who are listening to us right now. Can you write, please, in the comments, what is your biggest frustration right now? Whatever... You are trying to do uh, either is getting a job or I don't know whatever it is. Write here in comments what is your biggest frustration. So on Tuesday we will be ever able to cover that, and that's very important. We need to know what you want, you know. So we have our ideas and we know what we're going to share. But if you put here below in comments what's your biggest frustration, we will be able to give you even more value and. That's going to be fantastic because all we want is to give you value. Just yeah, yeah. So let's unpack that a little bit. What's your biggest frustration in in your career? Your biggest frustration in in uh, w that you want to do something else? Well, how could you unpack that a little bit? Well, uh, it can be it can be career related or, or business related, but yeah, uh, you know our expertise are, are pretty straightforward. Yeah. So Hype is an HR professional. Is a he mastered the art of getting uh, visibility on LinkedIn, on, the, on giving, you know, giving value to others. Uh, my expertise is in uh, getting your personal branding, especially if you are a job seeker, getting it right. So your LinkedIn profile, your, your resume and all that. So if you have any frustration uh, related to career, personal branding, uh, we are here for you guys. So just write it uh, in comments. And, and yeah, that's it. fantastic. And it's a big deal, and it's going to be a fantastic show. I don't know who wouldn't want to tune in for something like that because, guys, you know, there's courses out there. People charge $500 for $1,295, $1,500 for the kind of information we're going to share with people on, th on Tuesday just to help, you know? So it's like, sorry, guys, for all those folks that are charging money, but we're going we're gonna to bust down some walls on Tuesday and help people engage with life, right? This is what it's all about. What about you, So Have You got any other things you'd like to um, say before we before we sign out here today? Yeah, I think because it's it's almost uh, like like uh, you know almost eight o'clock in Dubai, so I just head for my dinner now. But uh, one last thing, because I want to mention here, is that the digital space is the biggest space where you can make an impact. Where you know there are no boundaries and there are opportunities all over the world. So don't limit yourself that there are no jobs and then, you know, what's going to happen next. So take the opportunity, you know, imagine if you start to think positive, how things will turn uh, out for you. And if you see the other side of the coin, there, there is a, you know, a big ocean of opportunities waiting for you. But you are only thinking maybe on this side of the pot where, you know, um, you know, the economy is going down, there are no jobs, companies are laying off, but you, I want to help you focus on this side where there are opportunities and how you can best uh, place yourself in this part of the ocean and how you can grab those uh, opportunities. So, you know, tune in for Tuesdays, uh, show follow Max, uh, because the live will be from Max's LinkedIn account, so make sure you, that you don't miss. And please do me one favor that before uh, you go, you, you, you log out of this live session that you copy the link Share the link of Max profile in LinkedIn, um, in your LinkedIn posts, in your LinkedIn groups, in your WhatsApp groups. Share wherever you want. Let the people know that you know we are coming on Tuesday live to share, to have the job seekers, help you stand in back in your careers, and you know Fab Fabian as well is going to share some tremendous amount of knowledge. You know when it comes to resume writing, cover letter writing. You know how you can optimize your LinkedIn profile, how you can best put 
yourself, you know, you are there to grab the opportunities now, but how you can use your LinkedIn engine, your profile engine, how you can, you know, um, to chase those opportunities and to put yourself out there in that digital space as a magnet and attract those opportunities. So things are possible. And on this positive note, I wish you all the best and keep yourself, uh, you know, in good health, stay home and stay safe. And my message to you is just to stay positive. Over to you, Fabian, and good luck from my side. Thanks. So hi, thank you so much. So um, yeah, so I've said we're gonna give you a lot of value. I'm gonna I'm gonna help you turn your LinkedIn profile into your 24/7 personal headhunter. <laughs> so I hope you're getting you're ready for that. Uh, I'd like also this is my last word to a big, big, big thank you for Matt for organizing that because it's really fantastic what you're doing. You're putting a lot of effort. The guy created videos about. I was showing like half a day and it was so much content coming. Man. <laughs> yeah, putting so much effort is crazy. So, man, thank you for that. You're amazing. And, guys, I'm just looking forward to be on Tuesday with you all. It's going to be fantastic. It is going to be great. Thank you so much, guys. Uh, we just, again, wanted to give everybody just a sneak peek at what's happened on Tuesday. That's what today's uh, show was about. And uh, as mentioned, you know, do share the link. And uh, don't forget to share also in the comment section if you can. Uh, what what's frustrating you the most right now that's going to help us with our content how we're going to direct some things towards you and what might you know if we get you know a bunch of com comments in one area we can focus on one area right so uh, we want to be able to hear from you as well this is because this is all about you we have information that we have obviously there's things about us that that are normal in our lives that we could just say but uh you know we want to know what you're feeling what you're experiencing so that we can address those things specifically so this yes about you right yeah. it's about being tenacious in the times that we're living in right now so we look forward to seeing it on tuesday that's the uh, 21st of april and it will be 11 a.m eastern time that's 11 a.m eastern new york time and uh there are some times that i put on on a flyer we have but just Google it. You can go on there and find 11 a.m. Eastern. What time is it for me, right? And then you'll know. And if it's 2 o'clock in the morning, Fabian's up. Come on, y'all. You can do it. Get a nap earlier in the day. Come join us. <laughs> you can be there live, especially if you have questions, right? Um, or you can catch the replay, obviously, as well. It'll be there for you. But thanks so much, everybody. Thank you guys so much, so, so much Thank for you so being much. here. It's been so fantastic. Love you guys. And we'll see you all, of course, on Tuesday again, as we mentioned, 11 a.m. Eastern time. We'll see you then. Okay. Oh, yeah.